good day, blustery day, but a good day. And, uh, you know, we broke into the red zone today. So it was uh, fun to work that area of the field. Uh, like always, when you install things, uh, there's a little roughness that goes with that. But uh, overall, I thought it was a pretty darn good uh, football practice. And I know the guys are excited about uh, getting to scrimmage on Saturday. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a great day. How do you guys adjust to I thought they did a nice job. You know, uh, like I said, you install things, there's a lot of thinking. And in the red zone, it's a lot of anticipation of pulling the trigger. So you have to, uh, you, have to uh, you know, rep that a lot. And we'll get a lot of reps with the, throughout the rest of spring doing that. Seems still seems to be a bit of a problem, guys dropping a lot of balls out there. You know, uh, yeah, we, we, we can't drop the ball. I mean, it's as simple as that. We've, we've got to hang on to the rock and, and – uh, uh, that's just concentration, and, and but it almost always happens when you install a bunch because they're thinking so much, and the, the things that come naturally all of a sudden become harder. But uh, as we get more comfortable, it, that will dissipate. Any, anything else drill-wise you can add to well, we got this jugs machine that was going to be humming right now, and all those guys who missed one ought to be there. So uh, hopefully we'll... Uh, that's the punishment. That's the punishment, exactly right. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll correct that quickly. Come on, right? Uh, just uh, rolled his ankle, I think, precautionary. I'm hoping that he'll be ready on Saturday. Anything that stood out um, in terms of the red zone as far as guys grasping quicker than you thought, maybe? Uh, you know, I was pleased with the day. It's just not as good as it needs to be. Uh, I don't know that you can say any one thing. I just think that uh, it's a normal uh, growing pain than when you just install stuff. Where do you see Stan fitting into the safety picture? Well, you know, uh, with Stan, he's, he's a very physical player. He's, he's a gifted player. It's about uh, understanding everything and being where he's supposed to be. And, uh, but I see uh, growth in that department. So, and that's, that's not unusual. Now this is his second spring. You know, he's going to go into his third year here. So, you know, I think he will start to uh, get more comfortable. Coach, can you talk about your early enrollees and how they're kind of adjusting? It's got to be tough as, as kids who should be in high school right now. Uh, you know, I'm proud of them. Aaron Wallace, uh, Sam Ty, and, and Brett Hundley are all doing a nice job. Uh, uh, and Ryan Hoffmeister, who just got here, and Anthony Thompson, who just got here. Anthony and Ryan are, are, are the ones that uh, are, are kind of submerged because they, they didn't get to go through an offseason. They're just trying to learn guys' names, figure out where the classes are, yeah. all the different things that go along with your first quarter on campus. Uh, but uh, I think uh, all five will be very productive players here in time. Coach, your thoughts on uh, Richard making the full commitment to football and coming up next week? Well, I, uh, you know, Richard is uh, a good quarterback, and he know he wants to be better than good. And and to do that, you have to in, in, in kind of submerge yourself in it. It's just too much to know at that position. There are other positions that you you might be able to to master and, and, and then has, still have some free time, but not the quarterback position. It's always changing. It's always evolving, especially with new coaches and new new schemes. And and uh, it's just uh, one of those things that I think he saw and, and you know made the decision that uh, hopefully it will be the right one for him. I know that we're excited about it. You know, I think Malcolm's uh, a terrific back. Uh, he played early in his career when probably didn't know as much, probably wasn't as comfortable and uh, with the speed of the game, especially in the pass protection department. And, you know, I think uh, he's going to just grow and grow. I mean, still just a freshman. He hadn't got to a sophomore year yet, but uh, we see great, great upside for Malcolm. How will you look to work Kevin Prince into a little more? Now? You know what? He's going to work this post-practice right now in the throwing. I, to tell you the truth, I completely forgot that he was available today. He came up and I looked at him. I said, you got to tell me. you got to remind me. But uh, we won't miss that opportunity again. He'll get some real seven-on-seven. Seven. We'll have some seven-on-seven seven before the scrimmage the other day, and I might give him all of it just to get him uh, some reps and get ready to rumble. So he, he is clear to go seven-on-seven? Seven-on-seven, seven, yes. And we'll see that Saturday. We'll see him some some reps in seven-on-seven on, seven on Saturday, yes. Got an idea how many plays you're going to go on? many as we can you know it really goes to the health of the team uh we'll see where we are in our offensive line well i won't keep you we wouldn't do that to you anybody else chris foster leading the masters is anything like that no you know he's been fine he's uh he got a bunch of reps today with kai down and and uh you know there were some that were off but certainly he's made some 
real improvement there. And, you know, uh, he keeps going at that pace. He's going to be an accomplished center, which is what, we're, what we need from him. Everybody good? All right, thanks.